Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and today we're going to be checking out the world's most expensive socket. I'll be doing some science experiments today such as the Tower of Torque, the three quarter inch breaker bar flex, and finally taking some ratchets to failure. For more information about this product and any other rentals, repairs, and calibration for your next specialized high torque situation, check out Torque Tools Inc. There will be a link down below in the description. What makes this socket from Rad Torque Systems truly unique? Well, I'll tell you. It's the built-in torque transducer, which tells you how much force you apply to a fastener. Let's go check out some large fasteners that you might see in your everyday life, and then we're going to see how this socket works. So we're gonna start things off with the Tower of Torque. We have our smart socket connected via Bluetooth to a digital device that'll allow us to graph and keep all of our information. And if we had a job to do, we could upload that information later to that job, verifying how many times and what we torqued our fasteners to. So we have a manual clicker torque wrench here. We're gonna go ahead and click this to 100 foot-pounds. This is gonna get us a baseline for our Tower of Torque. You can see right on 100 foot-pounds, and we're going to do this three times. 100 foot-pounds, and one more time. And right at 100 foot-pounds. So you can see that everything is dialed in for 100 foot-pounds. So we are extended here probably a good 10 inches. So we got our tower of torque here set up. We're gonna go ahead and put our torque wrench on here. We're gonna go ahead and see what this does when we hit it at 100 foot-pounds. All right, so we hit this at 100 foot-pounds. We got 98.3, 98.5, and right on 100 foot-pounds. So here you can see what we put our extensions on there and have our inline torque transducers. There's literally no torque loss when it comes to adding extensions and using a torque wrench manually. Now there are some difference when you go to add angles to it, but that isn't the case. This isn't a flex head and we don't have much for angle loss here. So we'll do this one or two more times and we'll see how this fares. Now there is a lot of difference in accuracy when it comes to looking at these devices here, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So here again, we clicked at 100 foot-pounds. We had 99.6 and 100 foot-pounds. The accuracy on these are anywhere from three to 5%, whereas a device like this gets you down to a half a percent or less for the margin of error when it comes to accuracy. And even this torque wrench here that I'm using, this is the Harbor Freight Icon Torque Wrench. This has a four to 6%. And so again, we broke at 100 foot pounds. We got 99.0, 99.7, and 101 foot pounds. So everything is really, really lining up. So we'll go ahead and test this one more time. So again, we got 100 foot pounds where we set this for, 100.4, 98.9, and 100.1. So everything falling really well in the accuracy range. So that's really pretty neat. Really neat results with the graphing there and the accuracy on that thing is spot on. These all come calibrated with a one year certificate. This socket here goes up to 1500 foot pounds and it should take care of a lot of the large fastener needs that I have when it comes to throwing down torque. You can see 100.9, 100.4, and 102. So really fun. Let's get on to the next one. We're gonna go ahead and see that three quarter inch breaker bar flex. So here we have the three quarter inch breaker bar flex test. This is the 36 inch Icon three quarter inch drive breaker bar. We're gonna go ahead and lay down some torque on this. Hopefully get at least 600 foot pounds. We'll see how this one works. Thank you. 
All right, so we laid down 578 foot-pounds. We're gonna go ahead and try that a couple more times. All right, that one was 702 foot-pounds. We're gonna go ahead and flip that breaker bar around. Oh yeah, look at the flex on that bad boy. 725 foot-pounds. So good little amount of flex on that. Just throwing down a ton of torque. So here we have the 40 inch Capri tool, three quarter inch drive breaker bar. We we'll go ahead and see what this will lay down for some torque and how much flex we get in this guy. Oh yeah, feel that flex. So 748 foot pounds. So interestingly enough, this is a 40 inch breaker bar versus the 36 inch. There's really only about two inches of difference when you measure these out. It's amazing how much flex is in this one, but it still allows you to throw down a ton of torque. 736 foot pounds. We'll go ahead and do that one more time here. Seven hundred and four. So that's a lot of torque on there. We'll go ahead and try the Harbor Freight Icon one one more time here. So seven hundred and forty eight foot pounds. So really, there's not a lot of difference between the two of them here. A little bit when it comes to price. You're gonna have to look at the video and let me know down below in the comments which one you think flex the most. And really, which one of these is best for you? That's gonna come down to price. That socket, it's able to take 1,500 foot-pounds. These things, they're rated for about 1,000 to 1,200 foot-pounds. You know, these are gonna be able to handle everything you need to throw at it every single day. So let's go break some ratchets on this thing and see how it holds up. So we definitely wanna test out some ratchets here. We got the Cobalt Ratchet from Lowe's, as well as a Stanley Black & Decker Craftsman. And we also have a Sears Craftsman. So we're gonna take those to the torture test and see how they perform, what kind of foot pounds we can expect on these things and to see how this socket takes it. So we're gonna go ahead and take some ratchets to failure here. We have the Cobalt 90. This is a pretty relatively budget priced ratchet. You can get this for a great deal when it comes to picking up one of their sets. We're gonna go ahead and do some test pulls on this. You can see 100 foot-pounds, 136 foot-pounds, 177 foot-pounds. So really this ratchet, it's going to be able to solve all your little problems without any issues. It really only comes down to what's the longevity of something like this because it's able to take 192 foot-pounds ASME spec on like a 19 millimeter or three quarter inch socket is going to be around 185 foot pounds and the ratchet itself for ASME spec is going to be around 150 foot pounds. So we were able to achieve everything that we would expect. Let's go ahead and take this thing to failure and see how it performs. Two hundred and sixty foot pounds. Clean anvil shear on that. Really nicely done, Cobalt. Pretty impressed. Let's see how that sounds internally. Everything inside functions still really nicely. So the weak point on that would definitely be the fact that it's a quick release. And 260 foot-pounds is not too bad. All right, so the next ratchet we have up here, this is the Stanley Black & Decker longer handle craftsman ratchet now this is made in china it's no longer made in the usa and this one's really interesting because some people want to know what this one performs like compared to the sears chinese brand and we're going to find that out today here so i'm really excited to see how that works out 
All right, so let's go ahead and do some test pulls on our Craftsman. Now this is a 36 tooth ratcheting mechanism. Still sounding and feeling okay. Yep, still no issues. We're gonna go ahead and take this up to about 150, 185. So doing okay for ASME spec at 150. Now it'd be a matter of going up to about 185 for the socket. Oh, and that thing broke at 173. So we slipped something in there. It's kind of bungled up inside. We'll go ahead and see. Maybe we just slipped a tooth. One thirty-three. So really disappointing to see results like that. But that's pretty much how your Chinese Craftsman is gonna fare. So we'll go ahead and give that Craftsman from Stanley Black and Decker one last chance. 177 foot pounds, just destroying the internals on there. And that doesn't even meet ASME spec for torturing a three quarter or 19 millimeter socket. So the Stanley Black & Decker Craftsman is probably one of the lowest performing ratchets that I've had the opportunity to test. And it's really not my pleasure to test that one. So let's go ahead and test out the Sears Craftsman. Now this one again, this one's made in China. And we will see if this one performs any better than the Craftsman Stanley Black & Decker. Really interested to see if this one's gonna be able to take a little bit more abuse or not. It's kind of interesting because this one has a shorter handle on it, but it also actually ended up being a lot cheaper. So I was able to pick up a great little set for 10 bucks compared to the Stanley Black & Decker Craftsman, which was like nearly $20. It's very painful to actually purchase that. All right, we'll put a little bit more on here. So 98 foot pounds, yeah, everything's sounding pretty good, no issues. If you think about it, the shortness on this handle, you're really not gonna be able to put more than about 120 by hand. So 149, that's gonna be really close to ASME spec. And we'll go ahead and see if we can take this one up to around 185 to 200 foot pounds. So we got 185 from the Sears Craftsman. So that one is definitely able to take a little bit more torque than the Stanley Black & Decker version. We're gonna go ahead and take the Sears Craftsman to failure. All right, so 183 before we slip some of the internals on the Craftsman from Sears. So while it is a little bit better, it's not a lot better than the one that you would pick up from Stanley Black & Decker. All right, so we'll go ahead and give it one more shot here, see how it performs. So 228 foot-pounds, that's a lot better than I wanted to see. Still was not able to break the anvil on there, so we're probably definitely rounding off the gears in there or taking a chunk out of the paws. Either which way, there's so many other options for tools out there that are gonna perform better for the foot-pounds per dollar ratio. Although if you pretty much use this as it was intended without a cheater pipe, you'd probably be okay. It's just that those square, boxy, rectangular handles, they're just not very comfortable. So guys, we had a lot of fun today. Really neat testing out the three quarter inch drive breaker bars. We had the Capri tools as well as the Harbor Freight Icon and they performed really, really well. Not disappointed in either one of those. Have no problems recommending either one of them as being a decent three quarter inch drive breaker bar. When it comes to looking at the Craftsman and the Cobalt ratchets here, 
The Cobalt one from Lowe's definitely performed really, really well. No problems with that one. But these Craftsman ones, man, they have been probably the worst performing ratchets out of all of them that we've tested. We had the Sears Craftsman China-made ratchet as well as the Chinese made Stanley Black and Decker Craftsman. And we saw that the Sears one performed slightly better than the Stanley Black and Decker, but not my much. Both of those, unless you're getting those really, really cheap, I probably personally myself would pass on those. You guys are gonna have to make your decision on those. Why don't you comment down below what you thought about the performance of those ratchets, as well as we did that Tower of Torque, which is really neat, stacking up our inline torque adapters and testing out our torque wrench and seeing how accurate this thing was, as well as minimal to no torque loss when we stack that up. Pretty interesting results. So guys, really appreciate you tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you thought of this video. Let others know what your experience with some of these tools are and what you thought of the performance of this Rad Torque System $3,000 socket. Pretty neat toy that we got here. We're gonna break some more stuff on that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that in any other upcoming videos. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder. And we'll catch you in the next video.